Hi, so here is the uh, answer walkthrough video for our lesson, column method to traction level one. So here are your quick answers then. So question one, 211. Question two is 4,655. The answer to question three was 65,211. And then question four is uh, the answer to that is 211. So if you've got those right, good job. Um, move on to column methods of traction level two, and I'll see you there. Uh, if you've kind of made a mistake and you just want to see where you've gone wrong, stick around. I'm just going to quickly go through these four questions for you now. Okay then, so I, just, I, I guess you're sticking around. So here is uh, number one. So the thing we've got to remember is we line up our columns in place value, and we also start with our first number. And if you remember, this is the thing that's really important about... Um, column method subtraction is that you've got to write down the columns and write down the numbers in the order that you see them in the question. So if we start with 321 and then we're going to take away from that 110 and if you notice I've lined up my numbers in place value and we're going to draw the lines underneath and then we'll just do the subtraction as usual taking each column in turn. So 1 subtract 0, well that just gives me a 1, 2 subtract 1 is 1 and then 3 subtract 1 that gives me two. So as you can see, the answer for the first one there is going to be 211. Question number two, same idea, write out the numbers, making sure to line them up in terms of place value. So 4,956, subtract 301, draw your lines. Six, subtract one, well that gives me five. Five, subtract zero, again that just gives me five. 9 subtract 3 is 6, and then 4 subtract nothing, if we remember we don't do anything with that, is just 4. So the answer for this one is going to be 4,655. Question number 3, slightly longer example for the first number, 69,322 subtract 4,111. And notice that in all these examples, I've kind of left enough space in between our numbers so we can do something with it. Now, what we do with it will become apparent in the later levels. But if we get into the habit of leaving gaps in between those numbers now, it will make it a lot easier later on. So let's subtract these. 2 subtract 1 is 1. 2 subtract 1 is 1. Move on to our hundreds column. 3 subtract 1. Well, that's going to give me 2. 9 subtract 4 is five, and then six subtract nothing is just six. And so the answer to question three is 65,211. And you can either put a little comma, a comma in there if you want. You don't have to. Some people do, it just makes it easier to read. And then moving on to question four, four, nine, three, two, one, subtract 49,110. Draw our lines in. Right, and then one subtract nothing. Well, that's going to give me one. Two subtract one is one. Hundreds column. Three subtract one gives me two. And then nine subtract nine is nothing. Four subtract four is nothing. And then because we don't really write zeros in the front of a number, the answer to this one is going to be 211 also. So there are our answers done for column method subtraction level one. Hope you found that easy. Um, it's a nice introduction to the column method for subtracting. Um, now you can go ahead with confidence to watch column method subtraction level two, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.